right, welcome to the Blood Prison Shakedown. Uh, we're going to get right to it. I got a special guest in here tonight doing a little Blood Prison series, keeping it all in house. I got Andrea, the Warden's Widow. How's it going, Andrea? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. How you been? Really good. Yeah? Really good. Yeah. Can't nice. complain. <laughs> no? Well, you could, but who'd listen? Yeah, I won't. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so. Let's get right into it because I've been uh, people asking me, what, you know, wanting me to do this, this, this in particular podcast, and All right. um, of course we want to give the people what they want, like of course, like clowns, of course, oh, and no. uh, <laughs> it's not really what we're starting with. Come on, yeah, I'm just throwing it out there, you know, you got to give them what they want. So disappointed. <laughs> Andrea is going to do a new clown character. No, that's a lie. Don't. That's <laughs> such a lie. No, don't even get that out there because people are like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. No, it's not happening. I had to, man. I'm no. sorry. I had to. I had to do it. I had this plan. No. I had this planned out and ready for you just to see how you would react. You're the worst. <laughs> so, hey, thanks for joining us today. I know, uh, Andrea, um, you've got a passion for this, just like the rest of us. That's why I like you know bringing you on. Mm-hmm. And... It's something that is an all-year thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is for me. It's mm-hmm. for the crew. Mm-hmm. Um, we, this is what we do. Yeah. And it's kind of, uh, you know, just, it's it kind of hard to explain. Is You know, it's just, a, it's not a hobby. No. You know, I mean, if you watch a lot of, uh, I know a lot of people do are on your, your TikTok, of course, mm-hmm. and your Instagram and everything. You know, you've got different characters. Mm-hmm. So it's something that you like to do. Mm-hmm. Where did your love for Halloween, like, how did that start? It's actually super random Um, because I remember as a kid, I liked, you know, scary stuff, but I wasn't as into it as I am now. Yeah. So I remember, I think it really was just working at my first haunted house. Um, I went out, I needed National Honor Society volunteer hours and the local haunted house was hiring. So wow, Miss National Honor Society. <laughs> All right, listen. Oh, here we go. That's another secret about the widow. I'm actually <laughs> really a big nerd. So, yeah. So, Which yeah. means you're intelligent. Well, thanks. I'll take that. Okay, you're welcome. See, you just I call me nice. a nerd. It's not fine. a clown. You're intelligent. This is weird. You're not nice to me. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and get back out there. There we <laughs> go. There it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, it really started there. Um, it actually, I saw this girl. She was doing makeup. Her name's Danielle. So shout out to Danielle if there you're you watching. Um, she was doing like really cool prosthetics and like latex and stuff. And I just remember being so fascinated by how cool that was and what it, you know, just the different looks you could do with that, like the fake blood and everything. I was like, Mm. I want to try this. So I started just messing around with makeup at home. I'm by no means a professional makeup artist or good at it in any way, but it's something I enjoy doing. Um, And so from there, I just kind of started kind of making characters and having fun with it. So So what what age range are we there? Uh, That would have been, I think I was a sophomore in high school. So, so. Well, let's throw another shout out then. So what was Mm -hmm. the first haunt you worked at? Lake Hills Haunted House in St. John, Indiana. Oh, there we go. Uh, It was run out of like, I think it used to be like an old golf club or something. Like they turned the building into it. It was so much fun. Literally so much fun. I remember I would do my own makeup and I thought I was so badass. It was horrible makeup. So bad. (laughs) Yeah, but you're like, look at this. Yeah, I was like, I did this. This is so cool. It literally was just like a white, like the... Uh, Walmart cream makeup was the base. I had some black around my eyes and then I like would drip blood down my face. I was so proud of it. Oh my God. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. But um, yeah, I started working in a graveyard scene there and then they slowly worked out to like working in the line and stuff. So it was fun. So was it a, um, was it a PG hunt? Was it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah? It was very small. They were big. I mean, it was big for that area. Yeah. Um, That's cool. but yeah, it was pretty PG, pretty family friendly. So that's cool. So yeah. shout out to them. So then yeah. how did you then venture into Ohio? Um, so actually school, um, I went to college here, got my master's degree here. Um, so I moved here. Um, you are a nerd. Yeah, I really am. I really, there's like no <laughs> way around totally it. I really am. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then I, yeah. So here I am, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right on. Okay. That's cool though. Um, so let's, let's, all right, let's get this out of the way. Oh, here we go. Let's get this out of the way. All right. Okay. So how tall are you, Andrea? Mother, f- oh, can I say that? I don't, can can, I, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I am six, seven. Six foot seven. <laughs> yes. This is the funniest thing. It's, it's always because just an average height. I like to at least say I'm average height. So mm. I'm probably short. You're short. Yeah, exactly. You're very short. <laughs> but it's like. I don't have someone look at me and go, Jesus, you're short. How tall are you? You know what I'm saying? It's like, but it's got to get, and I I would just kind of like, 
hey, it's Andrea. You know, she's six foot seven. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But then after getting to know you and hanging out with you a few mm. times, it's just like, Jesus Christ, would you leave her alone? You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, Brian gets so mad because we'll yeah. be at like a grocery store or something. He'll be like, they won't stop staring at you. I'm like, yeah. what are you talking about? Like, you just kind of get used to it. Um, in fact, I was at the gas station earlier. <laughs> that yeah. Literally, I can time it perfectly. I'll see whoever it is. They'll look at somebody they're with and be like, oh my God, look how tall she is, you know? Yeah. And literally I can time it where I'll look at the person that's waiting to look at me and I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. like I know it's coming. It's just so, it's it's... It's got to be tough to be like, oh, my God. Because you don't want to sound like a diva or yeah. anything like, oh, my God, I'm the warden's widow. Yes, I'm six foot six. But it's yes. just like it's got to be repetitive. Like, Jesus Christ, get the hell away from me. So the only thing that I get annoyed by is literally my TikTok name is it. You, the handle is warden's widow. But my like name at the top of the profile is literally six, seven haunt chick. Yeah. So it'll be like, how tall are you? And it's in my bio. Like, it literally says I'm six, seven. Yes, really. <laughs> like. It's yeah. literally right there. Like you put zero effort into looking into this. Exactly. And then you had to do, didn't you do a, um, like the, que- the answer, answer a question on TikTok where it says, how tall are you? Yes. Yeah. yeah there was like a trend going around where it was like the three most common questions you right, get. Exactly. And yeah. The first one of course was how tall of you. And then the second one was, do you believe in Jesus? whatever that's a whole other issue really i, I have I so many one. bible thumpers you're probably gonna get flagged for this because i had a tiktok taken down because i called them bible thumpers but oh, i right. have so many people that tell me jesus is gonna save you and you need saving and you're the worst you're going to hell it's the hey, whole thing all you gotta do is say listen i'm six foot seven i'm closer than you are right it's all a right? whole thing it's, <laughs> it's a whole thing so we getting acquainted with andrea was was fun um, just because I think your first year was 2018 I think and so, yeah. we might've talked about this on the last one. Cause Andrea has been on before when you did the makeup, mm-hmm. we actually had you on, mm-hmm. had Matt come in, mm-hmm. do the makeup. Jen came in, helped you the way, just the process, which was great. Yeah. We got so much good feedback off that and cool. it was just cool seeing how it was done. Yeah. Um, so we may have talked a little bit about that, but just getting like how you came to be with, uh, here mm-hmm. at blood prison, we, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hiring actors every day of the week and yeah. twice on Sunday. As many you want to act at Blood Prison, you know, come hit, on, hit us up. You <laughs> yeah, know. we're a big, we're a big haunt. We need actors. Yes. Um, so you, I'm not sure exactly if you saw something or you just like reached out. I don't remember, but I remember messaging with you. Just like mm-hmm. I rem- honestly, I said Andrea Gigantor, and I'm like Andrea. She must be French. Must be a French chick. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. You know what I mean? No, it's actually really funny because this was like a big thing for me because I was kind of like working in a small haunt at that point and some things didn't work out. And Mm -hmm. I was just in a place where I wanted to move and I just wanted to do all these things. And I was like, I want to work at a big haunt. Like I want to work somewhere that's badass, like just has a really cool venue. And I was like, I always see advertisements for Blood Prison. I had never gone through the haunt or anything. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to reach out. And I forget who I even came in contact with. But at some point in time, they were like, hey, if you want to be an actor in Blood Prison, reach out. And I, re- I remember reaching out and then they got me in contact with you. And I think yeah. Dawn at that point was even like hooking me up with you. And then okay. we started messaging. But yeah, that was like a big deal for me because I was way out of town. I didn't live anywhere near here. So I was no. just literally coming out by myself. And I was like, oh, I'm really nervous, but here we are. So <laughs> it was very fun because, and I and I love telling the story, just keeping on your, your height, mm-hmm. which I know you love talking about. Right. Um, <laughs> But I really I, don't mind it that much. Well, I really don't. Like, I get it. If I saw somebody my height and I was normal, I'd be like, whoa, holy shit, that's a really... Like, I get it. I yeah. really do. But it's it's got to get to the point. Me and Brian were talking about this one day, and I was like, yeah, man, that's got to be... I know my feelings would be hurt. It's like, Jesus Christ, you're a fat ass. How much do you weigh? I'd be like, what do you mean? <laughs> he tries to do that sometimes. Like, yeah. People will be like, how tall are you? He's like, how fat are you? I'm like, stop, you can't gag. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. But it was funny because when I, I remember walking up the main hallway here at the reformatory and I was like, oh, I was. I think I think Barry was in here. He was mm-hmm. our acting manager at the time. And I was like, hey, that girl's going to, here, I'm going to go meet her real quick and yeah. I'll bring her in. And I go up and I remember seeing you going, Jesus. <laughs> I was thinking in my head like, God, that woman's a tall woman. And I just thought, like, that was it. I blew right past. Yeah. Now, what's wrong with me? You Which know? is so, so funny because yeah. I was just awkwardly standing in a corner. There was so much happening in that front yeah. room. And I just was like, oh, I feel so weird. I was like, I don't know who I'm looking for. It was so funny. I just remember you walking out and I was like, yeah. Vic? And I'm, the, and I'm the dick going, oh, look at this. Look at this behemoth in here. 
<laughs> I'm trying to find this. There's this tall chick distracting me. Oh, that's so I'm funny. Like looking around, like, mm-hmm. and you're like Vic. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. Okay. I'm like, come on in. Come on, come on. Yeah, because it's 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 sad. Not sad, but when you're in this business, you're you're looking for. I mean, an average person, you know, yeah. 150 pounds, five foot seven or yeah. five foot ten. Yeah. I mean, we we take everybody, but when right. you get a six foot seven girl mm-hmm. or someone who's four foot six, right? You you shout you, out to Jan. <laughs> right, exactly. You got a tiny little doll running around. Yeah. Right, you know, but it's like you. I'm trying to word this, you know, as, <laughs> as good as I can, because I'm not trying to offend anybody, but. Um, you look for those things mm-hmm. that make something u- that sets you apart. A unique situation, yeah. like in a scene or or out front, just seeing you yeah. walking around out there. Yeah. Um, I went to a haunt down in Tennessee mm. uh, called the Nashville Nightmare. Oh, I want to go. I haven't been yet. <sighs> it's amazing. I've heard. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, there's no no. Bo- at least it was when I went. I don't know about now, but mm-hmm. I mean, it, I had I even tried to reach out to them, going, "How did you do this gag? I really want to try this." Okay. But there was this guy there. And he was disabled in, I don't know how or, mm-hmm. or what the situation was, but we walked into this one scene and then he looked like he was like, pl- like in the ground, like he was stuck in the ground, like, hmm. you know, okay. like his legs were cut off. And I was just like, I just thought it was a prop, you know, yeah. and I kept walking in and this dude just starts going, oh, just like all over the floor. And I jumped, nice. and I'm just like <laughs> so politically incorrect and like pointing you freak! Oh my what god! The hell yeah, is that? and my buddy Dan's would be just like, "Shut up!" I'm like, look at it, you know, because it was just like it freaked me out. Dude. Yeah, I was just like, "Oh my gosh, that would be so cool." Yeah, you know. So you're always looking for that, mm-hmm. you know, that, like I said, that unique situation that you can find yeah. for a scene or a particular mm-hmm. uh, area of your haunt, and it's it's one of those things where I've noticed in the haunt industry, just working at the few that I have. Mm-hmm. That people come here because they know, like, you can be six foot seven, mm-hmm. you can be four foot two, yeah. and we're mm-hmm. going to be like, hey, man, come on in. And, you yeah. know, you're welcome here, and we're not, you know, no discriminating. It's, yeah. you know, we're all a big family, and it's like, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, like families, there's always issues, but sure. But it's like, it's accepting, and that's one mm-hmm. thing that I, I really love about working, like, with you and mm-hmm. with, like, everybody at the haunt is, mm-hmm. like, we don't really look at each other, like, not, not necessarily different, but, mm-hmm. you know, with you know, different glasses on just because, yeah. you know, this person is like, this is why they're here because they want yeah. to be able to be themselves and they can. Exactly. You know? Yeah. It's a way to express yourself. And I, we have people in wheelchairs, you know, like anybody can Absolutely. do this. Yeah. Anybody can do this. And it's so much fun. And it is. It's yeah. Just so. Yeah. If you want to work, please come out. We need actors. Mm-hmm. Always need actors. <laughs> yeah. Man. It's um, it's uh, you know, we're 250,000 square feet. That's mm-hmm. that's the footage. It's a lot. So it's a it's a lot, That's you know, lot. and it can't be wall to wall animatronics. You know what I mean? Right. You need yeah. you need those actors for sure. So we got um, I shouldn't say we. You kind of explain because I know a lot of people ask what what made her want to do this character, and I'm like, well, you know, you'd have to ask her. But mm-hmm. in 2018, I know you started. You asked me about some history here, mm-hmm. um, and I, I gave you what I could, and then you kind of mm-hmm. just developed this character along with. I don't know exactly if it was just you or if it mm-hmm. was a couple other people, but explain yeah. to everybody how develop because character development's big. You know, yeah. some haunts, yeah. some haunts are more theatrical than others, mm-hmm. so character v- development can be something that's mm-hmm. you know something that they can look into. So if you could, yeah, share how you developed uh, the widow. Yeah, so I'm trying to remember when it first started. I know when I was reaching out, I think you guys had added me to like the actor page or something, mm-hmm. and people were throwing out ideas of like hey, you guys should look into actual people that were here at the prison so we can kind of like keep that story alive and keep the theme kind of cohesive. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say names, but I found... Let's keep names out of it, but you can just, you know, yeah. Uh, So the the wife of the warden that used to be here, I kind of looked into her story and Mm -hmm. there was some rumors that kind of online about like how she had passed away and how that was involved. And so that kind of gave me a storyline to go with. Um, Now, granted people that are in line looking at you in, in a haunted house, they they don't care about the backstory. But it kind of gave me a reason for me to be like this vengeful bitch and like kind of looking down on everybody. So I kind of ran with that. Um, that was back when we had like the entire family. I had an actual warden that was with us at that point. Yeah. Um, killed him off. I did. I killed him off. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm the widow. But it, it was fun. Like we, I found out later that 
we were going to have a warden and I didn't even know that this was going to be a thing. I just, you know, came up, it was Barry at the time. I mm-hmm. came up to him and said, Hey, I want to be this character. And he was like, Oh, that's funny. I want to be the warden. So it kind of worked out where we built this family thing. Um, and then as le- years later kind of went on and killed everybody off and now here we are. So yeah, you're like the black so, widow. You kill everybody. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'm just an angry bitch. <laughs> so did you have an idea? Like, or I know Matt does your makeup. So mm-hmm. did you have an idea? Like, did you say to him, this is kind of what I want to look like, or did you guys kind of just go yeah. back and forth? Uh, the widow, I wish I had pictures. The widow has gone through a dramatic <laughs> transformation. Oh yeah. When I first started looking for a costume for her, I wanted it to be based off of like a 1910 kind of 1920 uh, yeah. school teacher. Uh, so that was back in the days when I had like that white button up ruffly shirt and like this mm-hmm. really long black skirt. Um, mm-hmm. It was a very different look. The wig was a little a lot smaller at that point yeah. um so yeah that's kind of how it started matt had developed a makeup so that's pretty much been consistent throughout right. but um from there it went to a wedding dress which i adored that was like my one of my favorite parts of her and then uh obviously we took the wedding dress and had it done into what it was last year yes. and i think that was two years i've done it with the red and yeah. sleeves and all that which looks amazing so shout out to Sven Puss Productions out of yes. Chicago. They're the ones that did that costume. They're incredible. I highly recommend them. Um, they're, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but they are working on a new costume. So sure. she's going to be a little different this year. So yeah, the, the widow's going to have some, some major tweaks. I'm, I can't so, wa- excited. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> so excited. So excited. So yeah. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah. Uh, definitely a dramatic transformation. I think I have like one video on my TikTok where I go through the transformation. <laughs> it's like yeah. you look at what she was and now it's like, wow, like well, dramatic yeah. difference. Absolutely. So. Evolution of the character, mm-hmm. you know. It's real funny. And I want to talk to you about this uh, down the road or, you know, a little bit later. But mm-hmm. um, so, you know, at the Reformatory, we, you know, of course, we're here at Blood Prison. Mm-hmm. But it's also a lot of other things. They do tours here and everything. They mm-hmm. also do an event called Incarceration. Yes. Which, you know, everyone looks forward to. Mm-hmm. So... I was, I didn't know if Inc. had a TikTok or not. Well, they don't. I don't know. Okay. They don't. I was like, I don't think I follow them. If they do, I need to look. But, yeah. Right. So that, that's basically what I was doing. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm, I'm searching on TikTok and I just put in incarceration. Yeah. Very first thing that pops mm-hmm. up is a video of you. What? Yeah. <laughs> How's that possible? Like people like Slipknot were there. Say, what? No Slipknot or Rob Zombie that's or nothing. That's crazy. <laughs> video of the Warden's Widow and some guy like. He's half flirting with you. And oh, my God. I remember that it. video. Yeah, yes. It was right out front here. I got tagged in that thing so many times. Yeah. I've seen that video. It's that funny. That was the first thing when I searched. Was that's like, crazy. I was like, wow. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. That was cool because, yeah. that's you know, they have a lot of a big following incarceration. Does. Yeah. Are you excited, Frank, this year? Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm always excited for incarceration. Yeah. So it's a cool festival. So. So. We'll be open for incarceration, of course. Oh, yeah. We'll have a booth outside. We'll have a smaller scaled down uh, haunt like, mm-hmm. like we did last year. Mm-hmm. Inside for people to beat the heat and mm-hmm. come in, go through the haunt. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be posting more about that and, you know, talking more mm-hmm. about that as we get closer. I'm actually going to have a couple guests come in from Inc. Oh. Um, I've got one booked for sure. Nice. Uh, the guy that runs all the tattooing. Sweet. Um, so I'm going to have bring him in. He's going to bring a tattoo artist with him. Cool. I don't have everything worked out yet. I had uh, Dan Jansen last year come in. Okay. He's basically the general manager of the whole mm-hmm. show. And did a, I did a shakedown with him. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to Ink this year. Mm-hmm. But what I what I haven't told anybody, I've told a couple people, is mm-hmm. I so I got it worked out to where we're actually going to do a podcast mm-hmm. during Ink. Okay. 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 Um, but we're going to do it from the tattoo area. Okay. And they're going to be putting some ink on me. What? So I'm going to be getting inked. What? While we're doing a podcast. Okay, that's badass. That's Why have you cool. kept this a secret? Well, because <laughs> I wanted to talk about it here first. I told a couple people. That's cool. Um, but I hope my mom's not watching because she hates she uh, hates tattoos. Sorry, and she, mom. She doesn't know about my tattoo, like the one I got now. She yeah. Know, she still doesn't know about that. That's badass. So if she's, if she's well, now watching, she knows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if she's watching, I'm sorry, Ma. I got some ink. And she's. I, I never told her because she... Just she, my sister's got tattoos. She hates them. My mom's the same way. She, Sorry, mom. Yeah, I have a lot. Cries. I have a lot more plans. She, I think she's just accepted it at this point. <laughs> You've got a lot of ink. I do. I let's, do. Let's. If you don't, can you show us the warden's widow? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's on this one right here. I don't know where to show it. I uh, you can just point it at that one, guy right there. I don't know there. if you can see it. Can you see that, Sarah? Yeah, we can see it. A little All sweet. right. So yeah, shout out to Aaron Crubbard. He's down in Columbus That's at beautiful. Sacred Hand Tattoo. 
He did so much work for this. I was like really nervous. Not that I don't trust his judgment, but yeah. I kept asking him like, can you send me sketches? Cause this is a big deal. Like I don't want something on my arm that I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know? Yeah. So he kept me updated the whole time. He was like showing me sketches and everything. And the amount of time he spent on the face alone. I mean, I don't, again, I don't know if you guys Looks can see great. it. Like, it's spot on. It yeah. is spot on. And I literally, I was like so impressed because he did the face first, like the head and the face. He had to take a break after it. He was like, oh my God. He's like, you have no idea how nervous I was because he's like, that would just jack the whole tattoo up if he yeah. couldn't even recognize the face. So he just absolutely killed it. So I remember when you showed that to me, I was just like, oh yeah, it's my crazy. Gosh, it's did crazy. That. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so that was a fun one. Yeah, um, it's good stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. How many tattoos do you got since we're talking ink? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Jesus. I don't have this arm done yet, so thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> good number to start with. Yes, it. and then now I want to cover this thing up, so I'll have a big one right oh, here. Oh, for your yeah. Yeah, so. Can I ask you about that? Yeah. The, the, I know you posted a little bit about it, but yeah. you, you recent, well, it wasn't recent, it was November, mm -hmm. semi-recent, you had open heart surgery. I did. I did. Um, how are you feeling after that? Uh, surprisingly well. Yeah. Um, I mean, all things considered, I, I feel pretty much normal. I get some soreness, but that's about it. So. Now, I love all of my actors. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to use you as an example real mm -hmm. quick while we're here. Yeah. So, Andrea had... Open heart surgery in November, like not long after haunt season was over. Mm -hmm. The following week, <laughs> I made sure to schedule it after haunt season. I was like, if I'm going to fucking die, <laughs> I'm going to make sure this is the best kick ass season ever. So, and it was, it well, really was. You did, I mean, it was great. Yeah. It's I, been my favorite year of acting. So, so go into, so uh, actors, you need to go into haunt season every year. Like you're not like, you're going to die afterwards and just have fun. There you go. That's, and that's. That's the whole thing. Just and take that as like the widow's slogan. If you're going to go, if you're going to die, at least have a good time haunting. <laughs> exactly. You know, here's the other thing. And this is something that like I've talked to with Brian. I think we touched on it. I mm -hmm. talked to uh, Rick from Chippewa Lake. Mm -hmm. We touched on we and I had him in um, the guy across town. His name's Ed Ewers. He runs yeah. the trail. We all talked about like, you know, how hard it is to keep actors. Yeah. And it's it's amazing how, you know, the ones that, you know, the ones I'll talk about that don't work here no more mm -hmm. because they're just like, oh, yeah, I want to do this. And mm -hmm. and then they just kind of flake out. It's hard. It's not an easy thing. It's not. Yeah. But you have open heart surgery. Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to throw a shout out to somebody else, too. Mm -hmm. You have open heart surgery. You're not recovered. No. But you come back. <laughs> For Christmas. Yeah. And me and Brian were talking the whole time. I'm like, look, I keep telling Andrea, you're more than welcome to come. But if you can't, yeah. it is okay. You don't. I was nope, so she, determined. We almost got in a here. fight over it. Because yeah. I was like, I fucking need this. Like, they wouldn't let me do <laughs> right. shit for like yeah. three months. They're like, you need to just rest. Like, take it easy. I'm like, motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, I know I can't scream. Obviously, that's realistic. Right. But like. All I have to do is put a fucking costume on and walk around. Like, I can do that. I'm just yeah. wearing a dress, you know? And I kept telling everybody, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Fucking four hours before the haunt starts, I went into AFib. I stayed I in remember. AFib yeah. for... Long time. 36 hours straight, Oof. I think it was. We ended up going to the ER after the second night. But yeah, yeah that was... I was but I'd be damned if I was going to miss it. <laughs> that is called dedication. Now, some people say... Oh, you shouldn't do it. But you know what? You went to the doctor before. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, look, as long as you're not out on the floor putting yourself in harm's way, yep. we kept you up in central guard. Yep. You got makeup, costume, mm -hmm. character, everything. You were there. Yeah. Doing your thing. It was great. Mm -hmm. So it's hard when you have like actors like you and mm -hmm. uh actor like our friend Christy. Yes. Who uh, was in our basement. Fucking who badass. Has cancer. She yeah. has cancer and we knew she had cancer and of course yeah. we we're like hey listen mm -hmm. you do what you got to do this we're right. always here for you yeah we get it if you have to miss but if yeah you have to miss she didn't nope she was here nope. every night she got punched in the face mm -hmm. and you know and when i heard about it i ran to where it was where yeah everyone was, was like oh my god i heard about it in the line yeah I, chrissy got punched i'm like motherfucker who oh, was dude. it like <laughs> i was pissed and yeah then, and then i got over there and she goes she goes i go what happened and she told me what happened i go did you press charges? He's like, no, he's just a kid. I go, I don't give a damn. Yeah. This yeah. kid's got to learn. You One, you don't hit a woman. Two, yeah. 
you don't hit somebody that's like you know everybody comes in knows that yep. we're not gonna do nothing to you nope. this is a this is for your entertainment yeah, exactly and he did that some punk kid mm. that um, she goes well I know his football coach so I'm gonna call him and make sure he runs extra laps and I was like well if that's you know what, what makes you that's, feel better that's a good way to handle yeah. it that's so a good way just, to handle but, it but yeah. she was here every night yeah with cancer mm-hmm. I mean and it's just like so when someone calls me and says I have a tummy ache it's just you know, it's yeah. just like, you know what? You Come those. on, dude. Yeah. You know, we, we want the ones that are going to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love our actors. we got a good crew here. Mm-hmm. and But it's just those are the the hardships of doing this. Yeah. Which I'm it just, keeps you going. Like, it really does. Like, like I said, when when I got done with surgery, the only thing I was thinking about was what was it? December 11th or December 10th, whatever there, it was. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to be there. I got to get ready. I have to it was like push a, it myself. It was like almost a month to the day. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, it definitely kept me going because I was like, I have to push myself. I have to, you know, I don't feel like walking the stairs. I live on a third story apartment. So like walking up and down stairs yeah. was the last fucking thing I wanted. But I was like, I have to do this. I have yeah. to be able to walk and, you know, have some type of stamina for this. So it, it kept me going. So yeah. it was great, too. So. And it was our very first Christmas show that we'd ever yeah. done. It was fun. You know, and we got so many good reviews on it, and mm-hmm. people had a great time. Yeah, and it was fun, man. I like yeah. walked through the haunt. I'm like, you know, this is this is great. It I, was really fun. Yeah. yeah, and the guys did it up. Brian, Mike, mm-hmm. and Anthony, and God, who else was involved in that? Uh, Candy. Yeah, so uh, many people helped. The Bopsy twins helped out. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, and it was just like they did such a good job. Yeah, at, it looked amazing. Um, making the haunt look like a mm-hmm. horrified Christmas. It looked like a completely different haunt. Yeah. It really did. It, it was, was a really lot of fun. Cool. Did a crew got to do the Christmas video with mm-hmm. uh, Blind Seven? Abe. Yeah, shout out to him. Oh yeah. And we actually just the other day we had Brian get back in the Krampus suit. Yeah. And we took him out to a cornfield. Okay. And had him walking around because we have all the snow right now, so it's working out really well. Not yeah. to give away, give the video away, but we got some really good shit. I'm sad I wasn't there. I'm yeah. excited to see it. Was, it. It's going to be cool. It's going to yeah. be really cool. So I'm looking forward to that as well and next year's christmas song because we're going to do that yes you know it went so well that yeah like, yeah let's do it every year we might Heck as well yeah. so i've been meaning to ask you like um on the social media end of things because mm-hmm. that's kind of you know i mean because people know what i do so mm-hmm. i get more i get more questions about you than i do about, about the haunted attraction good lord you know what i mean it's <laughs> yeah. just like okay yeah yes andrea yes of course uh <laughs> warden's widow yeah um She's great. She's a pain in the ass, but she's all right. <laughs> a big pain in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a six foot seven pain in the ass. Yep. No, so how did, what was it, explain to everybody how your TikTok just blew up. Gosh, I'm trying to remember. I know I started, as most people started TikTok, I was one of the people that was like, I'm not going to have a TikTok. This is stupid. I'm not mm. doing it. Well, then COVID hit and I got bored. So every, like every other person on TikTok, I started a TikTok. Um, I ended up doing, ha, you'll get a kick out of this. Yeah. I have had this costume that I got at Goodwill. Um, it was like this polka dot dress with this big, ugly red flower. And I needed something to do with it. And I was like, the only thing that would fit is a clown. <laughs> you didn't know this. <laughs> so I did a grunged up nasty clown with it. And I was like, you know what? Everybody else goes viral on TikTok when they're a clown. So yeah. let's try it didn't go viral i think it got like 200 reviews or something yeah. clowns, but you've seen that before yeah so if you scroll <laughs> back i know i rip on clowns if you scroll back to my very few, first video on tiktok it's a mother clown but anyway i'm gonna i'm, I'm reposting that <laughs> yeah you probably will <laughs> um but yeah after that i just started again like i just mess around with makeup it's not anything good by any means but it's something i enjoy so i was like i'll just yeah. i posted a couple videos like that um, I had some past costumes that I had made and worked on that I posted those and I mean, no, no views whatsoever. We're talking like hundred views or something. Um, well, I remember at, we did that convention here. You remember the convention, yes. the one year we did the convention yep. and that, oh, I feel so bad cause I can't think of the guy's name now. He's out of New York. Haunt Hunters. Haunt Hunters. Yes. Yep. And they did that video of you yes. in the cell blocks mm-hmm. where you did your scream and everything. Yes. And I think down the road he Posted that on he their did. TikTok. Yeah, it went viral on theirs because they started their page. Yeah. yeah, they started their page and then he like posted a million that. View, like yes. a million views. It was a crazy amount of people. And I'm trying to think because I started posting like old footage of the widow, like back when she was like the school teacher looking costume. Yeah. And it didn't really take off. And then it was that's what it was when we had our ghost hunt. Yeah. I had a lot of people that wanted to see the scream out of costume. 
And so I was just wearing like Ouija joggers and like a hoodie and I mm. screamed in one of the cells and that took off. That yeah. was like, I, it might've had like 5 million views, I think on it. That's crazy. Yeah. And it that took off nuts. from there. I started posting more of like the updated widow and like, it just took off from there. All the screaming videos constantly do well. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it just kind of took off from there. Like really took off. Yeah. Cause you were like updating me on all the, like, dude, I've got like a hundred thousand. Like, I couldn't believe it. What? It literally took, yeah. yeah. Especially last season. I'm trying to think before season, like last season's when it really took off. Cause I had a couple it of did, videos yeah. go viral. Um, and just out of the blue, I remember <laughs> my coworkers, if they watch this, they'll remember it too. I was, you know, working and all of a sudden I was like, Oh my God. And they were like, what, what's wrong? What's wrong? You know? And I was yeah. like, I have 30 million views or whatever it was. I was like, this just like I had just posted the video like two hours before that. And it just took the fuck off. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Um, I can't remember which one it is now. It might have been the one where I'm carrying the baby. When you uh, went up in the... The silicone baby. Yeah, and I walked yeah. up to the the road up there and screamed. That, that might have been the one. But yeah, yeah, I like posted it randomly at night because I try and post every three days. Just kind of keep people updated or whatever. Right, right. Um, so it was just a random like, oh, I haven't posted it. I should post this. You know, it just took just took off. <laughs> yeah, that was... Um, I couldn't believe like when you were telling me how, how well it was going on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, man, that is just so cool. So mm -hmm. this year... I mean, and, and the, what is this? So it would have been the COVID year, I guess you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I had a few people, like I'd have a handful of people the whole season would say something to me. But this year, I mean, mm -hmm. it got to the point where they were like, Vic, I would get a, a call on the, on the walkie. Mm -hmm. Hey, I need you to come up front and be like, okay. And I come up and that's usually a complaint. Something's wrong or something. Not, well, yeah. not always. A lot. Sometimes it's people like, hey, man, I had a great time. They're okay. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But someone called up like, um, is the warden's widow going to come out? Because I only came to see her and I didn't see her Jeez. anywhere. And I'm sitting there going, Oh man. <laughs> Did you go through the haunt? Yeah. You didn't see her anywhere. No. I was God, just like, geez. she must be on the line. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm like, look, I don't have a beat on her. She kind of goes and yeah. she comes and goes whenever she wants. She's kind of got that freedom. Yeah. You know? Um, but I had that, I mean, almost every day, it's I would say every day of the haunt. I had last that. year got crazy. Like yeah. we got to the point where like, it didn't feel safe to go out by myself anymore because people would just swarm me and I'd be like, yeah. ah, help, you know? So yeah. uh, the two guards started going out with me. Right. And so we have like a team approach that like if I get stuck or whatever, they kind of like hurry people up because I don't talk, you right. know? So I'm not just going to walk away from people like that's rude, you know? Like people are going to be offended if I just walk away. Sure. So they would snap at them and be like, move along or whatever, you know? And it just kind of kept things going. But I get trapped for hours on end out there because there's just so many, like everybody wants pictures, everybody wants yeah. to see her. And it's just like, how did this become like I remember the first year it would have been my second year doing the widow I walked out the out, out onto those front stairs and I remember just hearing there she is there she is and that was before like TikTok was even a thing and that yeah. was just such a weird thing to me that like sure that many people recognized her and like really liked her and had you know had a following or whatever that was crazy yeah so. it was it was it was uh, this year it got to the point where I know the one girl because I think it was a Sunday and they go they go look we came from West Virginia. I don't know. It was like a four hour drive for them. They were like, we can't. No, that was actually the, it was the Christmas haunt oh, okay. is what it was. Um, and they go, we drove four hours for this. And I was like, oh, okay. Did you have fun? We had an amazing time. But we didn't see the Warden's Widow anywhere. I was like. I remember this. They came back up and they found me and I was so glad Brian brought him up. Or I think you might have yeah, even brought I, well, him up. Yeah, I and... might have said, hey, go with him. I'll take you up. Yeah. And then when they came back, they were getting ready to go, did you see her? Yeah. I was like, you guys can go through again. They were like, we can't. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And I let them go through again. And they, but that happened during the season. And it was like. Well, I, we're, we're going to have to like probably post a schedule. Like, right. It's, when is she going to be out crazy. to get some photos yeah. or, or whatever the yeah. case may be? Because walking through the lines, I mean, I went to the bank. This mm -hmm. is just a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. I went to the bank mm -hmm. and they were just like, they see blood prison on my shirt and they were like, oh, hey, uh, Warden's Widow. Oh, what's geez. going on there? And I was just like, <laughs> what? No you way. Know? Oh, yeah. No, I'm not bullshitting. Wow. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, what about her? Is she going to be there again next year? I'm like, yeah, of course oh she is. Oh, my gosh, yeah. You know, and it's just like it gets to the point where you're like having Zach and Ronnie, or I'm sorry, the guards yeah. go out with you. 
is like, look, and I told Zach, I go, you don't leave her side. Yeah. You stay with her all the time. Yeah. If there is a problem, mm-hmm. you get the police right away. Yeah. You know, it's just And like, they were amazing. Like, I'm so thankful they're out there with me. Like, it fits with our kind of our get up and what we're doing. But yeah, it, it gets to the point where it's like there. I mean, there was nights we had 4000 people in line and yeah. I can't be out there by myself. Like, that's just not safe, you know. Well, for anybody. Um, but when you get this following. Yeah. You know, of just. You know, because everybody, for the most part, I'm sure everybody mm-hmm. you talk to is, for the most part, probably good and oh, great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just yeah. takes that one time. Yes. And yeah. you've really got to look at that because, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, I mean, famous people, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not saying like, oh, you're famous. I'm but, not famous. People say that. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just post some videos online. <laughs> when there's that many people looking at you. It's like, a lot of people. There's They're going to recognize you. And then, yeah. you know, there could be, it's just... The world we kind of live in, so you gotta really be careful. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's another thing. Like you know, mm-hmm. when you're building your character, mm-hmm. you know, those people see you in the haunt, and then they leave, and then mm-hmm. they go home, and they're like, "Well, what do we got here?" Yeah, because we've got people. You know, we get people here that's just like, mm-hmm. you know, the police will ask me, "What do you want to do? Vic, kick him out or send him to jail?" I'm like, "Take him to jail." Yeah, you know, this yeah. guy's a dick. Yeah, you know, because there's like that in anything you do. Mm-hmm. You know, and you just got to be safe, and that's got to be. Something that you've got to deal with, I'm sure, Mm -hmm. you know, because you tell me the other, I was a few weeks ago, you were like, we were in Kroger and they were like, can we get a picture with you? Yeah, that was so mind blowing to me. This girl came up out of nowhere and she was like, oh my God, can I get a picture with you? And I was like, why? Like, why why do you want a picture? And then she was like, I'm such a huge fan. I was like, oh, the widow. That's right. Like, it still doesn't click that like this many people just freaking love her. Like, it's crazy. Well, it was funny. because This was actually kind of the joke of that day of ink Mm. last year because we're sitting there and. You know, people come up and they're like, what's going on? And I tell them, like, okay. And they're like, can we get a picture with her? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, of course, you know. And yeah. they go over here and I'm sitting there and this this guy, and if he's watching or listening, mad respect, man. I love you. You're great. But he comes up and he goes, hey, can I get a picture? I'm like, yeah, she'll be done in a second. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, with you. And I was like, excuse me? Nice. He's like, can I get a picture with you? I was like, why? You know, <laughs> I, say, I was like, what do you want a picture with me for? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I've I've seen you on YouTube and I come to the haunt and, awesome. you know, it's like, it's cool. And I was just like, I guess if you want <laughs> yeah. to, I mean, you know, and I was just like, so we took the picture and he's like, thanks, man. I really love what you was like, Yeah, no problem. Nice. And he left and I turned around. I was like, it's right. <laughs> I ain't six foot seven. <laughs> <laughs> no competition. <laughs> oh, dude. It was just so funny because like the people that were working, they're like, oh, look at you. I'm like, dude, I thought they were talking about her. That's funny. Oh, it was hysterical, man. It was so much funny. But I can see how that would get to be, you know, just, you know, I, I would hate for you to get to the point where you kind of got to be like, you know, constantly looking over your shoulder because yeah. you just don't know. Yeah, you know? it helps having, like I said, it helps having the guards out there. They kind of watch out for me. And now it's to the point where because she has such a huge family, like, Everybody in line wants a picture. Yeah. 4,000 people getting a picture is going to take hours. I have oh, a job yeah. to do. Like, yeah. I want to be inside scaring people as well. I I get people come for the pictures, and I don't mind that at all. Like, I'm not complaining by that. But it, it's there has to be some level of understanding. If there's 20 people in, in your group, we're doing a group shot. I'm not taking an individual photo with every, t- you know, each fucking person. There's right. just not time you for can't. that. You can't do it. And like, I still remember there was one person that commented last year that she took a picture with everybody except my son and we waited in line and blah, blah, blah. There's only two reasons I don't take pictures with people. You're either being a dick or you're just looking at me and not asking for a picture. I can't yeah. read your mind, you know? Yeah. So I literally, if you ask me for a picture, I will take one with you. Right. Just yeah. make it quick. <laughs> it gets, yeah. I mean, I remember going out in the front uh, this past season and just seeing, I was like, the hell's going on here like you yeah. and zach and ryan were standing there and it was just people walking it got easier pictures. to do that instead of walking through the line i yeah. just stood there and i was like fine they come to me like yeah. Yeah. you know like, it just got easier to yeah. do it that way yeah you got to do i mean it's got to make sense and i know that mm-hmm. you i mean when you asked me you're like hey man i want to go in and act yeah i'm like yeah absolutely yeah because you know? i'm like i think that's a great idea yeah you know because yeah. people want to see you in the haunt as well it's like dude i saw her yeah in the scene. that was something that happened that was like, I took that feedback from not this past season, but the season before that. I had a lot of people that were commenting or, mm-hmm. you know, messaging and saying, you know, it was cool. We got to see you in line, but we didn't see you acting inside. And so I really kind of took that. Like I wanted to act more inside because yeah. there's more than just what I do in line. Like I have other scares and, you know, kind of tricks up my sleeve that it, it's fun to do those things. And I like being in different scenes and kind of be able to float and, you know, being, a, you know, outside for hours on end you don't get to do that so i kind of took that into consideration this year and was trying to bounce back and forth and and you enjoyed the acting part of it you know yeah I mean? so yeah it all works out yeah because like at ink 
I remember at Inc. You were like, "Can I go in, please?" And I'm like, "No, I need <laughs> yeah, you out here." Yeah. yeah. I'm like, "Okay, last Half hour." Half of that was because yeah. it was 98 degrees outside, and the only thing that's open is my face. It was yeah. really hot. It, it was, was yeah, because so it was hot. even September, and it was still warm. Oh my god, it was so hot. <laughs> July this year. Yeah, I'm gonna I know. have to get you another one of those ice packs. Oh yeah, the ice vests help, and then yeah. we're doing sleeveless dress so i can yeah. take the sleeves off it's gonna be good it's gonna be That's good it's gonna be cool i'm excited oh, inked up widow walking around yeah God damn it ink uh, i'm gonna have matt cover it we'll do something badass yeah it'll, it'll look cool yeah that'll be great i'm looking forward to ink there's um this band i was like jesus the warden's widow's got a band what? did you see that band i think no. it's on friday it's called uh widow seven what i don't know who that is i've never heard of them but i was just like widow's got a goddamn band but you can tell widow's you gonna be crowd surfing <laughs> no i'm kidding don't do that don't yeah. do that oh that would be hysterical <laughs> that would be good stuff i'm looking forward to ink man i love doing those shows yeah um it's just so much fun to, and it's awesome that they let us kind of like jump in and be like hey, mm-hmm. man yeah go ahead open up yeah you know that's good stuff another show that i love going to which mm-hmm. i know you're going to this mm-hmm. year as well Coming up real soon, Transworld, right? Yes. Heading down there. Yes. St. Louis. Oh, yeah. You looking forward to that? Yes, always. Because you went there first time last year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How'd mind blowing. Yeah. Absolutely mind blowing. People tell you like, oh, you're going to be so mind blown. You're still mind blown. Like yeah. you cannot prepare for that show. It's it's so cool. It is a lot of fun. And I'm I'm, I'm hoping, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure like uh, the dark zone this time is mm-hmm. supposed to be even like kind of was back in the day. Because last year's dark zone was really kind That's of That's what everyone said. It was kind of dialed back. Yeah. yeah. But I hear it's supposed to be kind of ramped back up again this year. Nice. Um, I'm looking forward to going. I yeah. love going every year. I mm-hmm. haven't gotten to the point now where I'm like, oh God, I don't go to trains world. I love going every yeah, year. Yeah, it's so much fun. I love seeing fun. those people and, you know, yeah. doing all that stuff. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. St. Mm-hmm. Louis is, you know, fun city to be in and everything. Yeah. And we city should try to get out to Midwest this year, too. I'm trying to work that out mm-hmm. to where a bunch of us can go to Midwest. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm kind of, you know, working out those details. That's what I have not been to yet. I want to, but just hasn't worked out with my schedule so far. I haven't been to one since it hasn't been here in Columbus. Gotcha. Or in Ohio. We're not in Columbus, but I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, and it was like, you know, when they moved to, well, they moved to Chicago. And then I think they moved one, last year they went up to Milwaukee because Chicago was still like just you know, bearing down on everybody with COVID oh, restrictions. Yeah. So they were like, well, let's move to uh, Milwaukee. And then I guess that was a kind of a disaster. I had Tater in here and he was telling me like just this crazy stuff that was going on. Jeez. So I know they're having that back in Chicago. So yeah, we should try to get up there. I think it'd be a good time, but trans what mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to, because this is where you go to get stuff like these masks. Yes. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, so these are other characters that you've done on your TikTok as well. Yeah. Which are pretty cool. Let's let's uh, hear about these. So this one I call her or him. I guess it doesn't her probably eerie. Probably her. I think you're a her. <laughs> yeah. Um. I just put this on and have like this like I don't know this weird dress I got from an antique shop. But yeah. Um. Basically, I just do a funny dance in this one, and that kind of took off. I don't know. Whatever. That was last yeah. year. I think I posted that one. Um. This mask is from Ministry of Mass. That's over. I think in the UK. I'm pretty mm. sure. Um, they have some pretty cool stuff. And then this one is from our local friends at Creature Core. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> um, this one I called Unsainted. I just posted that one uh, recently. It's me walking through a cornfield with yeah. this on and a it priest awesome. robe. <laughs> yes, it was cool. Um, I got a lot of Bible thumping comments on that one. Imagine that. Well, but it looks satanic as hell. A little bit. You know, of, I'm you sure know, that's what he's going for. A little but, bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've had a lot of people that are like, Jesus is going to save you. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I was going for here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the other one. I try and do different characters. Um, I have one I'm working on right now with an Im- or it's a CFX mask. Mm-hmm. Um, I just got to get the costume Silicone together. Mask. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's super cool. And then I have plans for one this year. It'll be an immortal mass. So, so then like just seeing these two, you got some mm-hmm. plans with other ones. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, it's not all about the widow. I mean, it's just no, it's no. the passion of just dressing up and, yeah. you know, doing, if you're into cosplay or if mm-hmm. you're just want to dress up for Halloween stuff and yeah. you just do your kind of thing. Cause I've seen yeah. the. You know, uh, like, you know, if you go to Brian's house, it's just mm-hmm. like wall to wall. Everywhere. Yeah. Yep. And the same. I see your, is your, yep. like, some of your TikToks you show. It's like, yeah, it's going to be the same way there. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? And yeah. it's just like, you know, yeah. it's like I said earlier, it's not a hobby. It's, it's a, it's yeah. a passion. It is fun. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah, I love watching. Like the, the one you did with the mask here was great. And mm-hmm. both of them, it was just mm-hmm. seeing the imagery and how you guys did it, the way you shot it. And yeah. The effects and everything. It looked, it looked great. That and, you the know. The funny story about this one, we had bought smoke bombs to set off in that cornfield. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny little town. I'm sure people were alarmed seeing a bunch of smoke. So funny part is I had given Brian my phone to record the video. Yeah. 
And he's like, okay, okay, we got it all set up. It's the smoke bomb's perfect, like looks great, whatever. Uh, we record some awesome footage, like everything's really good. We go back to look at the footage. He had done it backwards. So every time he thought he was recording, he had stopped the recording. <laughs> so there's like zero footage of the actual smoke bomb going on. That's funny. <laughs> we spent so much time with these stupid smoke bombs and thought we nailed it. And we were all excited. We we're like, yeah, that's going to look great. Brian's like, I got the greatest shots and <clears throat> angles. And then we went back through and there was like no footage. So I had to like piece some stuff together and make it work. That's but good stuff. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I remember I happened to come to the shop that day. Oh, yeah, that's and I, right. <laughs> I saw your car sitting out front. I was like, oh, Andrew and Brian must be here. And I, yeah. come, I walk in, and there's nobody anywhere. I was like, where the hell is everybody at? Yeah. And then here you come walking in. I'm like, what the hell Just are you doing? Covered Just covered yeah. in <laughs> fucking black face paint, like blood. Yeah. Just yeah. all over the place, man. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. cool, man. And Trans World, you know, I mean, masks, mm-hmm. props. Anything you anything. Could want. Literally animatronics. anything. Teeth, contacts, yes. makeup, uh, yeah, animatronics, walls for your haunt, everything. Yeah, it's if if you're going to, you know, if you especially at our scale, mm-hmm. you know, we're, I mean, we're relatively big here, so it's like yeah. I go every year, and of course I work at Creature Core as well, mm-hmm. so I go with them, and it's kind of mm-hmm. double duty for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's uh, it's an amazing time, man. Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. And we're going to have a good time this year. I told you earlier, I'm riding with you and Brian. Yeah, it's going to be a wild ride. It's going to be, ride. Road trip, it's be like, <laughs> yeah. it's going to be like Cheech and Chong, man. There's going to be cars. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, don't, don't, mom, I don't smoke. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Vin. Vin's going to be one doing that. We're like, put that out, son. What are you doing? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like dropping it. That's all right. No, it's going to be good. I can't wait. Um, I flew down, uh, not last time, but the time before. And I got so much shit for flying yeah. because everyone's like, oh, Vic flew. And I'm just like, <laughs> Too so? good for us. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, I've been driving with everybody ever since then. And mm-hmm. it's just, you know, because the I went to Transworld as a vendor with Creature Core mm-hmm. and as, you know, um, a buyer, mm-hmm. you know, for Blood Prison and, yeah. uh, you know, everything. And I like going more as a vendor mm-hmm. because you just kind of have that, you know, you get to go early. Mm hmm. Um, you get that inside track and now, you know, yeah, the same way watching everything get built. It is so crazy to see it literally go from just a flat floor to like insanity. Like I literally, like even the Christmas section was incredible. Like everything was just so mind blowing and like over the top and you know, Froggy's Fog, they got their whole booth and there's like 12 different kinds of fog and bubbles. Like, yeah. it's so crazy the amount of stuff going on there. All it's, the noise. And, yeah. You know, just the train horns going off everywhere. Yeah. And then you got Escape Room City. And yep. it's just so big. It's so much to take in. But yeah. like, and the different companies will bring like different like facade like some of the facades they'll bring you yeah. walk into yeah so you like walk into that one that like a like mini a, haunt so yeah. you can see how you would set it up. How it would yeah, work. yeah, it's so cool. And it's so. amazing to see how far they go Mm -hmm. you know what i mean just to make just to show off their stuff and yeah and i mean there's not a lot of really bad stuff there no i mean you just like when i'm walking around it's like oh my god it's like dude yeah i don't have enough money to get everything i want no there's no way you know i yeah yeah and it's it's kind of been fun seeing an inside perspective of it obviously yeah dating brian you know i'm around and just seeing the amount of time and effort that goes into his booth alone mind-blowing like yeah. it i can only imagine like it's it's such a big focus for people you know sure through the entire year so it's it's yeah it's really crazy to see it from start to finish and what it ends up yeah. being and then even the teardown process like everything about it is just mind-blowing remember last year when we were loading the truck and you dropped my pillar oh my god <laughs> I have never shit a bigger brick oh my god i forgot about that that was so goddamn funny your face you were just like Vic, I'm sorry. I was like, oh, it's no big deal. I felt like, oh so my God. bad. I, like, I literally no worries, felt so fine. bad. I thought I had just ruined everything. I was like, oh, I, I couldn't Brian, believe it. I told Brian, I'm going to talk to her about that on the show. Oh, you, my God. You, I could tell you were just like mortified. You're like, I'm so sorry. I, like, I felt so mm, bad. Not like a, a corner of it broke off yeah, or something. Like a, I was like, yeah, oh, my God. We fixed it. You know, it was all good. I <laughs> forgot so about that. But even those little mishaps, you know, it's all a part of the weekend. I remember the Brian had to... Well, he had this one piece left, mm-hmm. this one coffin piece. with it. it was a really cool piece. Yep. It was big, though. It was real heavy. Fuck that coffin. Oh, God. Well, it's, <laughs> it's up so in the, it's, heavy. It's up in the house now. Yeah, so thank God. It's we still sat hard. around waiting for this guy who was going to buy it, and we just waited because we're trying to load the truck. You know? Yeah. Like, Dude, if you're going to buy this prop, he's like, nah, I'm good. So we're like, Argh. Yeah. You know, and I was like, eh. It ended up uh, 
it ended up coming home right. to Blood Prison, so right. it worked out really well. And I, <laughs> that became that becomes a theme with at Creature Core and at with with uh, Brian mm-hmm. Dembski is like, you know, like he's got all these. He had we brought a mask in that he made. I'm like, dude, mm-hmm. after the show's over, I go. Seriously, it's Sold. like, why don't you just let me? I mean, yeah. let's just leave it. I've already told him I want him to make me one too. I already yeah. have a character in mind for it. <laughs> They're great. Yeah. I mean, they look amazing. And he was like, well, he goes, let me just make a new one. I'll yeah. make one for us. And I'm like, yeah. perfect. Because I'm like, dude, I'm like, I want this. It's thing. so badass. Yeah. yeah, it is cool. Yeah, I mean, just the the time and effort he put into it and the mm-hmm. way he designed. It's just like, dude, yeah. I can see that in the West Cell block where the apocalyptic area yes. is. Yes, that oh, is going to yeah. be so cool. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, he's like, let me let me just make one that way. Yeah. My booth isn't getting, you know, emptied before right. we even open, you know. Exactly. And that that's kind of what it is. That's yet another thing why I like going as a mm-hmm. vendor. Because I, you know, I run Blood Prison. So it's mm-hmm. like I can get, kind of get a jump on some things. Yeah. Go down to Ghost Ride and be like, Mike, what do you got down here? Yeah, exactly. You know yeah. I mean? He's like, well, I got these bodies. I like that, that one, one, that yeah. one, yeah. That's what I'd like to There's have, There's a couple please. I want in my house. He makes yeah. incredible stuff. Yes, he does, so, yeah. yeah. Ghost Ride, shout out to them. They're yeah. great. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's that's so much fun. I'm so looking forward to uh, Trans World. So looking forward to the the drive down. Yeah, it's you know? going to be a lot of fun. Oh, you're going to It's a me. long drive. Dude, we drove last night, or last night, we drove last year. Yeah. I think we left at midnight and got there at like 8 a.m. It was a long day, but my God, did we have fun. It's just oh, like yeah. that anticipation of getting there. And like yep. the minute we got there, we were both just wired, like ready to go. Like, let's do that. You know, like it's it's just such an excitement and like I had just a rush, really. I'm one of the guys that like, I'm not in my stage of life yet where I, I'm like, I'm just like, well, I'm just going to take my sweet ass time. I am like <laughs> always like, I'm like doing 80 to 90 mile an hour on the yeah. highway. I want to get there. Well, be prepared. Brian does not drive like that. Oh, I know. It's going to be slow. But, <laughs> he goes by the speed limit. <laughs> but, and and don't get me wrong, I, I, I love Darlene. Uh, she mm-hmm. she uh, owns Creature Core, her and John, and she they came down with us last year to the show and she's like, well, Vic, I got to tell you, I'm old and I pee a lot. So we're going to be stopping. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> so we're like stopping every hundred miles. I'm like, Darlene, we're never going to get there. Yeah. You know? But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the drive down. It's going to mm-hmm. be fun. I can't wait yeah. just to get back. And hopefully it's a, a little a little more normal uh, this year. The first yeah. time I went, I think it was like 09 or 10. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, it was like going to Disney World. That was so crazy. You know, it was yeah. just like, I walked in, I was like, Oh my God, what yeah. is all this? That's how I felt too. Cause yeah. last year just going like, I saved a lot of money. Like I worked overtime to make sure I could buy all the things I wanted to buy. There's just no way you, there's no, there's not enough money or time to save up for that. No. Um, but I remember walking through the show, but like, like you said, you get down there early as a vendor and, um, you know, just walking around. I'm like, okay, I got to put that on my list. I want that. I want that. Yeah. So like before yeah. anything even opened, I was like, all right, I know what I want. You know, it's, I think uh, last year, and it's crazy because I know I think it was Little Spider Creations like did this uh, this really cool tree, mm-hmm. and then they I think they auctioned it off. Was that the one in the middle? Yeah, it was yep. kind of just catty cornered from us, maybe just yep. one aisle over. I remember that it was cool. Yeah, and then people are doing that too, so they'll like yeah. auction things off. Mm-hmm. And it's like the funny thing is like you don't want to come home with anything, so like mm-hmm. I am like trying to sell our facade walls. I'm like, you want this wall? Everything, like, yeah, yeah. It's just like Brian did that last year. He's like, you want the floor? We're selling that. You know, like yeah. everything, just so you don't have to take stuff home. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'll sell you my walls. <laughs> you don't want to load that because <laughs> the Sunday, like after the show. We always stay an extra night mm-hmm. and then go home on Monday morning. Mm-hmm. But it's like you you vend you do the vending on Sunday and it's over mm-hmm. and everyone leaves because that's kind of an early day and then it, you just start tearing down. Yeah, like right then. It's and there. immediate. It is so yeah. immediate. People like fly out of there. It was crazy. Like I said, it, it goes up in like a record amount of time and yeah. then taking down is like half that time. It's oh, yeah. so crazy. <laughs> and then you're tired because I mean it's hard. Like I tell myself every year. I'm not gonna go out and get drunk every every night. I'm not doing it. Yeah. And I, I mean, I don't get like you know shit faced hammer right. or anything. But you always end up like, oh, all right, let's go have dinner and let's get some drinks. Yeah. Oh, going, uh, going to city museum. Uh, let's do it. It's a huge social yeah. event. I had and no idea. Just, and you're just exhausted. I was exhausted. Yeah. Like when I first went back with Creature Core after missing a few years, the year I flew. Mm-hmm. I had, I mean, it was just like, oh my God, it was like a party week. It was like living like a rock star. It's like, yeah. we're in a hotel, we're drinking every night. We're, <laughs> you know, then we're on the show at eight, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm back on the floor. So it's just like this yeah. no sleep yep. party all night thing. And then Sunday rolls around and I'm, I'm going to the airport mm-hmm. and I, I call an Uber and I get in and I start driving. Dude, I'm in that car for 
I don't know, maybe 10, 50. Yeah. I am out. We thought we were going to drive back Sunday night after we tore down. We yeah. made it 45 minutes and we had to pull over. Neither of us could stay awake, really. Yeah. We have to stop. We have to get a hotel. We did not. Yeah, we thought we were going to drive the whole way. It, yeah. it didn't happen. No, I couldn't. I, can't, I couldn't do I did that one time with Creature Core. Like the, it was, I think it was the first, first or second year we went. I drove the trucks. Mm -hmm. Like we took two trucks that year. Mm -hmm. And I drove one of them, me and another guy, and then uh, House and uh, Becky drove another truck. Mm -hmm. And so it's two truckloads down there, and we didn't stay. We, you know, like now we stay Sunday night, go home Monday morning. Yeah. But then we tore everything down, mm -hmm. we loaded the trucks, mm -hmm. and we took off. And I was the same way. And I got about, I don't know, maybe two hours into the trip. Mm -hmm. We were just like maybe halfway through Illinois, yeah. if that. And I was just like, I looked over at the guy who was with me. I was like, I'm pulling off. Can't do it. And he's yeah. like, why? I go, I can't. I'm I'm going to fall asleep and I don't want to wreck this thing. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'll drive. And I'm just like, he's like, yeah, I'm good. And, you know, that's just the way it rolls because yeah. you're just, it's such a big week. Constant. Yeah. On the go. Constant. But it's a lot of fun and I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. Do you have anything in particular you're hoping to get this year at Trains World? Uh, yeah. Immortal Masks. They yeah. have uh, the skinned. Uh, membrane mm -hmm. variant of yeah. that mask. Yeah, so I've seen that one. That's a little uh, heads up on what my future character plan is. Right but on. I've had my eye on it for about two and a half years. I'm like, this is the year. I'm doing it. And then I have to get one of the babies, the silicone babies. Everybody asks about it in my TikToks, and I don't actually own one. It was Jen, yeah, so was Jen, I got to yeah. get one. Yeah. <laughs> so You saw that, and you're just like, I'm going to kidnap his little bastard. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, those things are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny, like, last year... Because I don't remember the year before, like, anything like that really walking around. But last year, I remember seeing, and I don't know who sells them, mm -hmm. or I, you know, give them props for it, but they were bowling pin, like a bowling pin prop. Yeah, They were all over Trains World last year. I saw those, yeah. It's just funny how it, one of the, like, a prop will just, like, take off yeah. in one year. Yeah, And last year, it was a bowling pin. Right, of all things. Yeah. <laughs> who would have known? very interesting. Yeah. I'm so looking forward to... Uh, trans world and we'll get together of course we're driving mm -hmm. down but like we'll talk more about um uh midwest i was talking with brian about it mm -hmm. and uh, um maybe a few other people i don't know uh, make a trip of it and mm -hmm. you know, it might be kind of fun yeah and maybe we'll do something from there but well listen i don't want to keep you i know you're a busy person as am i mm -hmm. uh, but you're more busy because you're the widow and uh god. god damn it i know it. you got your new clown costume you're getting no ready to go god to. Nah. i should have talked about it <laughs> I regret it's on everything. TikTok. It's on TikTok. I regret everything. Listen, Andrea, thank you for coming in. Mm -hmm. And we'd love to have you back on again. And I can't wait for this season. Yeah. And if uh, you want to see the Warden's Widow, you got to get out to Blood Prison every year. Uh, incarceration goers will be there as well. So yep. uh, come and see her. And we got some uh, cool shit in store for the Widow as far as like yes. some costume stuff. Not going to give it away, though. you got to come and see it. Yep. Blood Prison 2022. Andrea, thanks for coming. Sure thing. All right. Have thanks. a good one. Yep.